thing really full. Well. <sighs> I'm not supposed to drink my coffee. It tastes like coffee. Yeah. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> <laughs> so, a lot of experimenting these first couple of days, weeks. <laughs> I am tired. I'm like right in the light. So, hey guys. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, no, I don't need to work on that. This is, I, I just woke up. I mean, I think you just saw the coffee thing. So, I don't know what happened last night. I, I had a big plan to like do an unboxing of the new camera and all this stuff. I don't know. You can see like behind me, there's just mess. I don't know. We just went to sleep. We, we had a big day. We had a, you know, band stuff and all kinds of things like that. Today, I guess, there's, there's a couple things. I'll do the unboxing. We also have a question about Blair's hair. Do you have, do you have a question? Well, I was, this is just, this is our life. I don't, I'm... What do you want to do with it? I want to cut it again. Yeah? Because I just, I just keep wearing it down all the time. I've been trying to grow it out for like over a year now and I've gotten to this length and I don't like this length and I wear it up all the time because I'm either at the gym or I don't know wearing it up <laughs> and I figured once once I have a baby it's just gonna go up all the time but if I have it short like I used to I can actually just style it but it's not enough to where it hangs and it doesn't like I can wear it down at the gym I can wear it down every day so, so you want a buzz cut all right, cool. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, just short. What it used to be, like the cute little short angled bob, you know? Bob. I keep trying to get Matt's opinion, but he won't give me one. I'm I'm fine with whatever you want to do. I, I don't know. So that's my dilemma today. Mm. <laughs> I have to like bend down to show everything. Am I in it? This is our every morning kind of thing. Well, I guess my part of the every morning. I don't know. Blur sits this stuff out, and I, I stick it in in me, and then that makes me healthy. This is uh this is this is what you get from the sun. Tastes like sunscreen, suntan lotion. I take four drops of this guy. I chew the. It's not calcium. What is it? it tastes like really bad oranges. It was that iron, and so uh, yeah, every day we uh, do this thing called My Fitness Pal. So we do My Fitness Pal. It tells us like the macronutrients that we're getting for the day, along with the micronutrients. Our pill is really sour. You can um, either eat that or, or eat an orange, you know. Oranges take forever. I don't even have time for breakfast today. Micronutrients are pretty important, I guess. So science tells us. Take I take creatine. That's just so I get really swole. <laughs> so I can lift things and do such. We take uh, something, has the word keto in it, but really we take it just because it's for potassium. Y'all should check to see if y'all get your potassium because we weren't even getting like a thousand milligrams. Is it milligrams? And you're supposed to get like 3,000. So we started taking this little supplement for it and then I started uh, trying to get those naked juices, which high in sugar, but they have protein and they have uh, potassium in them. Uh, if you're on the road, which I am often, uh, I just get one of those things in. And then I try to drink there's no other sources of potassium. I know water, sweet potatoes. Avocado. So you can eat your, this is what I do. <laughs> Whatever. I'm not gonna eat a bunch of avocados before I go to work. So I also drink four uh, 32 ounce bottles. I say I do. I drink usually two a day, but I try to get up to four. That's that's my, my morning, morning supplements. Yeah, wasn't I doing something? Unboxing? <laughs> I just got the uh, the new EOS M50 from Canon. The reason why I like this one is it has this, which, ah, there we go. It has a an area that flips back, and uh, so we can actually see what's going on, which is something I'm terrible at, because I can never see the back. I don't know if I'm in frame. I'm assuming I'm in frame. Yeah, so right now I'm using this camera right here. Hopefully y'all can see it. A Sony A6000. So I can't actually put a mic on this camera, but I can do one on this one. I only looked at the bad reviews, which, why would you only do that, I guess? I should probably look at some of the good reviews. There weren't that many, which is why I chose this one. There's stuff I don't read. I never do the straps. It was a pretty cool camera, but it, uh, one of the comments on the reviews was how it feels kind of toy-like. It's got some weight to it. Battery charger. Be a lens around here somewhere. Okay, the, the lens does look kind of ridiculous. This is kind of bulky a little bit, like it's not 
Like it's more bulky than this guy, a little bit. But then the lens is tiny. I don't know, this looks kind of weird. I'm excited about it, yeah, I'm still excited about it. That's the new camera. I don't know exactly what all it does. It's, it's now mine. So it's the one that I'll be filming on and I'll stop using this one after maybe today. And then so if you want to take a picture, you face this where there's no screen. But then also you can flip this over and back around and you can actually just watch the video that you're taking on this side or picture if you want to do a picture. Pretty cool little camera. I'm going to learn the ISO settings, like how to set ISO. It's like my goal for this. Even if I'm just like filming myself taking lessons, it's going to be a boring video for y'all, but that means all the videos after are going to be cool, hopefully. But yeah, just got a new camera. We'll see, uh, see how it goes. Hopefully I uh, charge it up and test it today. Yay! Yay! Just got to be honest. If you wanted a cart, right? Yeah, get a cart. You're gonna push me. <laughs> I'm not gonna push oh, you. I can't. I can't get on it because my belly's in the way now. Oh, good job. I can run again now because I'm leaning so much on the cart, it's taking off my weight off. What do I need? Calm and How did he get on my computer? I don't know. Oh, well, it's way zoomed in. <laughs> Little guy. We had recorded a little bit of footage in the car after we went to the birthing center. Now I can't find it, so I'm just going to finish out today's vlog uh, with a little update on the pregnancy and how our appointment went yesterday. So we have, this month, April, we have three um, birthing center classes. Basically, I've been calling them baby boot camp because we go for two hours. Uh, we've been going twice a week up until February and then in February we had two, March we had two, April we have three, and then is baby month. So this month we have three meetings there. They're two hours each and they go over everything like labor, delivery, what to do with the kid afterwards, <laughs> um, uh, breastfeeding, and everything in between. So any questions that we have had come up, they have answered in that class. And it's been really, really helpful. But at the beginning of each session, we do my blood pressure, um, they check my weight, we talk about how I've been feeling, and then they check baby's heartbeat. And they also check the positioning of the baby. So uh, we found out this week that she is head down, which is good, but they said that she is um, turned to where, I don't know if you guys can see my belly, but she's turned to where, so her head is down here, and then 
her feet are up here, but they're facing this way. So normally you want, I guess, the limbs, the back to be against my belly here, um, but her feet and her limbs are facing this way. So her head is facing this way. So they suggested um, I get an exercise ball, one of those balls, and just kind of like do some hip stuff. Basically sit on it while we're watching TV at night and stuff and uh, help to position her and get her to turn. But we've got plenty of time. And then we also do uh, the positioning ultrasound at our next appointment in two weeks. And that will be, I will be 30, five weeks at that point. Crazy. But everything's good. I'm like awkward right now because of where I'm having to set the camera. Matt has the tripod. The camera's sitting on our couch. And anyway, so everything's good. The appointment went well. We're just kind of finishing out and getting things ready, trying to check things off of our registry. Um, we have had a couple people send us some stuff and we still have one that we want to show you guys the footage of the unboxing because it was just such a sweet, sweet gift that somebody sent to our PO box. And yeah, it's been pretty interesting journey. Um, I'm sure there will be plenty more baby updates to come because we will be vlogging more often, which I think is a good thing. And then I will also kind of sit and chat with y'all maybe tomorrow about um, how I've been feeling and why I've been kind of distant as far as uh, sharing things and just what what's going on like and you guys can probably guess there's a lot of worries but I can just kind of sit down and lay it all out and just give you guys the real update because that's what I've always tried to do with this channel that's what we've always tried to do together as the wondering why it's is just bring y'all the real aspects of our life and that includes what's going on right now so uh, that's gonna be it for today's vlog hope y'all liked it and stay tuned for tomorrow Take my hand and let's fly away to another galaxy. Hold me close, I want you.